Hey, welcome to part two of the playthrough. We left off with Inferno Squad deleting the transmission that revealed that the Empire was waiting for the Rebels at Endor. Now we pick back up in the second mission where Inferno Squad has been sent down to the Forest Moon to stop the Rebels from destroying the shield generator that protects the second Death Star. General Solo, this might take a while. If there's anything to recover, we'll find it, but the damage is extensive. We got a lot of wreckage to sift through. I'll let him know. Regroup with the others when you're done. Careful, Commander. Single target on the trail ahead. They mentioned General Solo there, which, yeah, that's Han Solo, who was in charge of the ground forces for the rebellion on Endor. Even after they destroyed the shield generator, though, Han Solo and the Pathfinders, who were basically rebel special forces, continued hunting down Imperial remnants on the planet. One of those Pathfinders was actually Kess Dameron, Poe Dameron's father. Scan. I doubt there's anything inside worth salvaging. Won't know until we get inside. Group and prepare to move out. 
Those can't be all of them. Those rebel commanders must have already moved on. We should too. We're near platform four. Is there a shuttle there? No, TIE fighters only. Even better. We should move carefully. We don't know how many rebels are out here. No, no, we'll deal with them the same as the rest. Today we wipe out that scum once and for all. Look alive, agents. We can grieve later. Right now, we need to move. On you, Commander. We need to reach Platform 4 and secure those TIE fighters. That's our only way back to the Corvus. Agent Miko, scout ahead. Yes, Commander. Agent Hask, contact the Eviscerator. I need to speak with the Admiral. Yes, Commander. Patching you through now. Admiral, Infernal Squad is evacuating Endor. What's the situation? Vice Admiral Sloan has ordered a retreat. We're pulling out of the system. Make it to your ship, Commander. Survive. I will send you the rendezvous coordinates. Yes, sir. We'll contact you when we reach the Corvus. I don't understand how this happened. The trap was perfect. Someone made a mistake. High Command overlooked something crucial again. No, there has to be more to it. The rebels were outnumbered and outgunned. It's simple. The Emperor underestimated the strength of our enemy, and we paid the price. Commander, then. Permission to speak to you. Granted. I know we're alone, Aiden, but that, that sounded treasonous. <gasps> Look to the sky, Ask. It's not treason if it's the truth. Quick little tidbit. They mentioned Vice Admiral Sloan at the beginning of that transmission. After the Emperor died, she became one of the more prominent Imperial leaders that tried to restore the Empire. The order that she gave to retreat can be seen in the short story Levers of Power, but she features more notably in the Aftermath trilogy. Heads up, Commander. Rebel patrol headed your way. Thank you, Agent Miko. We'll take care of them. Bunker is right here. I have a Heavy visual on the patrol. Wait a minute. The weather's done. We're taking this moon back from the Empire. Rain it in, Agent. I can't believe you we don't fire did. until I do. Is the war really over? Apologies, Commander. If it were that easy, the Empire would have fallen over Yavin 4. Even if it were, this moon's still crawling with Imperials. We're not out of this yet. Neutralized. It's what they deserve. Commander, I put eyes on a rebel ambush. We lost a shuttle and our men are overrun. Keep scouting, Agent. We'll see what we can do. Scan the area. We have to help our troopers. Go! Stand your ground and return fire! Inferno squad! The Empire is evacuating Endor. Push back these rebels. Understood, Commander! We're with you! Scan the area. Be careful. 
We've already lost two patrols in this area. I don't want to lose any more. Be ready, Agent Hess. If there are Imperials in this area, I want them found. Attack!
Admiral created Inferno so something like this wouldn't happen again. I know. Hard to believe this is all that's left. This destruction is the true face of the Rebellion. It's the reason we've been fighting so long. If you tried to make them afraid, we only made them angry. Someone told me once that Rebellions are built on hate. I never stopped believing it. How are we supposed to fight that? The Empire will change. Just like it did when they destroyed the first Death Star. We adapt or die. Commander, we have a problem. What is it, Hask? The Corvus was damaged by the Death Star explosion. Engines are down, but the crew is making repairs. Get the rendezvous coordinates from the Admiral. Commander, I'm picking up quite a few ship signals outside the debris field. Any of them Imperial? Not many. They've either retreated or been destroyed. What about the Admiral Star Destroyer? The Eviscerator is positioned near the Corvus. It appears to be fully functional. At least Hask isn't alone on the Corvus. We might actually make it out of this alive. What's the status on the engines? Ion injector systems at 60%. I'm diverting shield power to reignite the engine systems. Commander, fighters inbound. Bombers too! Defend the Corvus! It has no shield power! They're done! Bombers are making their attack run now!
that's the second mission. Inferno Squad was unsuccessful in stopping the rebels from destroying the shield generator, thus leaving the Death Star vulnerable to destruction. We'll pick back up in the third mission where Aiden meets with Admiral Garrick Versio, her father, to receive classified orders for her next assignment. Until then, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day, or night, or whenever.